Well, first arriving on the scene in 1943, Chippendale are one of Disney's longest running duos. And now, almost 80 years later, the iconic Chipmunks are on a new adventure. The Disney Plus film Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers features the pair like you've never quite seen them before. And in an Australian exclusive Weekend Sunrise movie man, Jason Jabba Davis caught up with a leading voice actor as well as a film's director. What's the first thing that pops into your head when I say Chip and Dale? I bet it's these guys! But certainly the second would be those rascally cartoon chipmunks, Chip and Dale. What if I did something like... I am into nuts! <laughs> good, good, I love it. Great stuff! The film takes place in a universe where the original Rescue Rangers television series is a real-life show shot in Hollywood. But the pair are no longer partners in crime. Dale is still a celebrity hotshot, while Chip has put his acting career behind him. I'm keeping myself fit and, you know, my updated modern look. Don't you think you'd have more fans here if Chip did these events with you? I hadn't thought about him in a while. I should give him a call. See how life's treating him. Life is the worst. Which is why you need good insurance. The duo are forced to reunite when a former co-star disappears. I know you're still mad about Rescue Rangers getting cancelled, but I just got a call from the police and I need your help. I searched the perimeter. No clues. Why would there be? Six missing tunes in a month and not one clue. Oh, no! The concept of longtime friends coming together is one Andy Samberg, the voice of Dale, and Akiva Schaefer, the film's director, both know all too well. Parallels with, with your with your own stories there as, as kind of childhood mates who formed the Lonely Island and you know went on to big things. Similar but different. We worked together on a show and we were friends together from when we were really young, but we never had a big falling out as us working together on this movie proves. Well, you know, there's still time. <laughs> Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers also features Aussie actor Eric Banner as Monterey Jack. My love of cheese got the best of me. I just love it so much. But Banner isn't the only recognisable voice. The film is full of nostalgia, with cameos from some of our most beloved cartoon characters. In this film, you have a criminal Peter Pan, a rogue Muppet chef, along with ugly Sonic, He-Man and Skeletor. It's like a Mad Magazine Disney film where any character is off limits. And, and how did all these characters kind of come to be in the one movie? It's, it looks like a lawsuit waiting to happen. <laughs> It was a really important to the movie to have third-party characters, not all Disney-owned characters. Uh, I just remember being a kid watching Roger Rabbit, and when the Looney Tunes were mixed in, it just made the whole like world feel so much bigger and so much more fun. And this is intended to be kind of a love letter to animation, so it wouldn't feel right without that meaning all of animation. And we kind of can pick up where Roger Rabbit left off 30 years ago because animation has had a lot of new... Um, styles of technology and, you know, between video games and motion capture. And then it was the lawyer's job to uh, try to make it possible. <laughs> you two come poking around where you don't belong. And I can't have that. Run! I got him! A... <laughs> what are you looking at? Honestly, your weird dead eyes. <laughs> Over here! Go get him! This is awesome! I was always more of an Alvin and the Chipmunks person. You monster. That looks good, and you're teasing me because previously I didn't, um, Chip and Dale, I didn't get the Chip and Dale. Is that, am I, is that I'll just, really Australia can really decide. Dumb? Sorry. The viewers can decide. I, I have my personal Thank thoughts. Thank you, my friend, for really sticking well, I mean, up it for is me a and curious not making me feel abbreviation. stupid.